Hello there. This is Music Man 0150, also known as Gary, and we're back again with another video. And I just wanted to take a few minutes uh, and explain some of the little tricks you can do with your radio receiver if you have an analog receiver such as this and you're having a hard time tuning it in. I'm going to show you just a, some tricks of the trade on on how to improve your reception a little better especially if you have a fixed antenna and you can't seem to get the station in the way you really want to. So we're going to start with FM first and right now I just have it on a empty area because I'm actually going to show you how to tune in the station um, on the FM band first and we're going to go ahead and tune in. Now, that is not what you want to have. Sometimes, sometimes if your receiver sounds like that, nine times out of ten, your station is not tuned in the way it should be. So, depending on where the tuning knob is or where the, uh, the tuning frequency is at, either go one way or go the other way and then you go back and forth until you have what is known as a center point of the signal being the strongest now on a strong station it's not going to matter that much but you still want to have good sound you don't want this so you don't want that because then it's real hard to understand what what the station is playing so you want to have it in more like that now for a weaker station such as this you kind of have to go back and forth until you get it just so it's to its strongest point and normally if it's still kind of staticky like it is now it's because of either the station is very far away from the broadcast you know from the receiving point in relation to the broadcast site or your antenna is not strong enough that's usually one of the two possibilities. Another thing you want to make sure of is if your receiver has an AM or an FM FM stereo mode. Let's see if we can demonstrate that. Okay. There's a station there that's sort of strong, but sort of weak. And if you get noise while it's in stereo mode, you can always try putting it in mono mode. And it will actually, it will actually improve the quality. And then, of course, you've got to go back and forth with the tuning again to make sure that it hasn't drifted. It's hard to tell the difference of the reception because of there's music on there. Let's see if we can find a talk station so you can kind of hear the quality difference a little bit better. Well, besides a random voice in my head, you're also the expert on the sensitive nature of computers. Huh. Not having so much luck trying to do that. Too tricky, he says. Almost as though the effort isn't worth it. But notice when I'm tuning into a weak station and using the FM uh, FM stereo switch. Sometimes it drifts off, so you have to go back and, and retune to make sure that everything is right. Coming up, Sarah Silver. This is fresh air. 
strange things are happening this fall in the Northeast. <laughs> See, and I think this receiver, too, has an FM AFC mode in stereo, because when I push it in, hear how it drifts away? And when I take it out, it goes back into tune a little bit. But see, that just shows that your system is not tuned in properly. So you want to make sure that no matter how the button is pushed in, it shouldn't drift. So you always want to make sure you tune your receiver with the AFC off if it has it. That's called automatic frequency control for FM. Make sure that that's turned off. And then tune in your station and then reactivate the AFC control. And then that way you'll be guaranteed to have good reception on either a strong or even a weaker station if, you know, if the circumstance may be. So that gives you uh, an idea of tuning tips for uh, FM. The next video, part two of this uh, series, will demonstrate AM. So come back for part two and we'll demonstrate the uh, AM tuning uh, tricks.